Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Keto Christina and I am a Keto Weight Loss Coach. And today's video is going to be having a look at what I eat over the space of four days. So I did a vlog from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because at the moment I am doing carnivore, so I'm spreading it out just so you can see a little bit more. I'm also showing you what kind of exercise I do. Um, this weekend was um, a ski weekend, so I'm going to show you um, a little bit about that but i'm actually recording this today at the end of the weekend today's monday um, and i stopped filming yesterday but when i was editing the video i saw that for some reason the first two videos that i recorded on thursday morning didn't actually record so i was in my co-working space on thursday and i actually went to burger king for lunch and i got two um of the big I can't remember what they're called, two of the big burgers with just cheese on them. Oh no, I only got one, sorry. I got one burger with cheese on it and chicken wings. And I had that at lunchtime. I hadn't had anything up to then. Then I had that at lunchtime. And then the next footage you're going to see is me getting into the car after work and just before I um, go home. And we're going to kick off from there. So hope that makes sense. I just got back into the car at the car park um, where I parked for the day and it's warm. I think I'm actually going to put the top down like it's February and I'm going to put the top down. What is this? <laughs> so I'm not going straight home. I'm going to go to the supermarket first. I want to get some steaks and stationery. I'm more excited about the stationery than the steaks, to be honest. Um, so let me just show, let me just have a look actually to see what my blood glucose is because I wanted to check to see how much of a rise there was after the Burger King. Let's see. It's not scanning. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Here we go again. 88 so you can see that there was oh let me let me turn around hold on everything's super shiny because of the sun but you can see there it's 88 and there was a slight rise but nothing major so yay for burger king cat hair it's a hazard of living with four cats and especially this one here because he is so fluffy look He's so poofy. Atlas. Hi. I spent almost 100 euro on steaks and lamb. But in my defense, I bought super nice steak. Now, I would not normally buy this. My steaks are usually about 6 euro, 6 to 8 euro. So um, for less than 20 quid a day, I'm eating... Um, I'm eating full carnivore and you know if you were eating um a lunch and work with coffee and might throw in like a breakfast smoothie or a bagel or whatever like that it's it works out you know it's not an extremely budget friendly diet for sure but you can find cheaper cuts of meat you don't necessarily have to eat steak it's a choice i'm making you, know, you can get like Che really cheap pork belly for like two three euro and you could eat that and that would be your budget for the day this the steak i'm eating i'm not saying that this is what you have to do on carnivore this is what i'm choosing to do on carnivore um and i'm lucky to be in the position to be able to have the choice but i do think that it is accessible to a lot of people you don't have to eat grass-fed you don't have to eat organic you don't have to eat only steak you can mix and match this is just what i'm doing so let me show you my 100 euro steaks. So this is how much I spent, 94 euro 39. So I got two faux filet, which are just basically strip loin, 7.29 for 300 grams, they're two breakfasts. Then I got, um, this is like a ribeye, it's got bone in here, it's got a lovely big fat cap super thick as you can see so that will probably be from mr keto although this one which is again it's another um ribeye is probably too thick for me too so 
for example, these two, so Mr. Keto would probably eat one of those by himself. I wouldn't eat a full one of those. I would probably have half in the morning, half in the afternoon. So one of these would do me for, for two days and this is two days as well. So you can get cheaper cuts of meat for sure if you want. Then we got these. These again are ribeye on chocolate, but these are from New Zealand. You can see all black Angus. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. So these are not hugely, well, I suppose this, this is 280 grams for 13 euro and that's like 500 grams, it's twice the price. Um, so it's not, it isn't, um, it isn't like cheap to buy, but we, you've seen my videos over the last few weeks, we rarely buy this. This is another one, this is a faux filet as well, again, 12 euro. It's like 46 euro a kilo, like so 47 actually, 46.95 a kilo. And obviously coming all the way from New Zealand, not exactly environmentally friendly, that's why we don't buy it all the time. And the faux filet, again this one was 11 euro. And then another rib eye, which looks amazing, look at that. <laughs> Cannot wait to get into that. So we've got a lot of New Zealand beef and the reason that I bought so much of it is because the dates are actually quite long on them, like the 4th or the 3rd, because it's vacuum sealed, so it lasts for much longer. So we'll eat these, I would say, over the next, over the weekend probably, and as part of this video you're going to see it. Um, and some lamb for Mr. Keto that came all the way from Ireland. So he's going to char grill that, and I mean char, you saw it in the last video, if you didn't, I'll link it up in the corner. But yeah, charred, really charred. Or it's that corner actually. One of the two corners, I can never remember. It's a little after 7 p.m. now and I'm actually still more hungry. So no steak for me tonight. I'm just gonna have my collagen coffee. I'm gonna have a decaf, obviously, because it's 7 p.m. I'm gonna have a decaf coffee with my keto collagen and then that'll be it for tonight. Seven thirty a.m. and we are almost ready to leave the house. I have an appointment this morning with a plastic surgeon to talk about the excess skin on my belly to see if he has any opinions. I saw another plastic surgeon last year, and she said that I was a good candidate, but I should probably try and get down to the lowest way possible. So I've kind of, I've been holding steady at around 76 kilos for like that year. Up and down a bit, but kind of around about the same. So I don't know if I'm going to get any lower than that. Um, I think I probably have at least three kilos of extra skin. Um, so we'll see what she says. Are you hiding? Been for the, the surgery consult. What did you think? Did you like him? Yeah, he seems uh, competent for sure. And more interested. And interested, yeah. Very, yeah, more interested than, certainly than the last surgeon we spoke yeah. to. So I'll debrief when we find tomorrow to have coffee. We are at the tattoo place. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I go ahead with the skin removal surgery, <laughs> it's going to be yeah. <laughs> number nine again. Number nine again. <laughs> Okay. 
we've just got home and you can see that I have not eaten so I have fasted for 28 hours but it's time to eat something isn't it time to eat something huh come say hello it's time to eat so I'm gonna go heat up the barbecue and we're gonna make ourselves some steaks aren't we bear not for him he's not getting any sure you're not hmm um, I think we're gonna have two big ribeyes, are we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, gonna go heat up the barbecue. I'm really excited about the fact that I've been able to go for 28 hours without anything to eat, um, because it's probably the first time that I've been ever, ever able to do it for this long. I've only ever really made it to 23, 24 hours b before, and it was extremely uncomfortable. I was cold the entire time and I just didn't feel good. However, with this, because it's because I'm doing carnivore, um, I think it's been really healing for my metabolism because you have to consider the thermic effect of food, which is basically the energy created by the breaking down the digestion of the food. So. Like so say if you have a steak and the steak is 500 calories 25 percent of those 25 of those 500 calories go just to digest the steak so having a high protein moderate fat low carb diet like carnivore um improves your metabolism without you doing anything at all so i am 28 hours without food and i am not cold and for me that's that's a huge revela revelation because that's what always put me off fasting before was how cold i used to feel like even 16 hours into the fast i would be freezing um so that's definitely a huge improvement and it wasn't like i didn't fast on purpose it was just let's see how how long i can go without eating and then we got up this morning and we we did the plastic surgery consult which i'm going to talk to you about in a minute and um then we went and we got our new tattoos and didn't eat anything so what i'm going to do is the the plastic surgery consult was really interesting but i'm going to make just one video out of it so um i'm not going to talk about it in detail here other than to say he said that i was a very favorable candidate for surgery and i should know in about a month or so so if you're watching this in the future i might have already had the surgery but for now for we're in february 2020 um for now i just have to wait about a month for the for the uh the go or the no go from our health insurance so we'll see fingers crossed so we've got these two bad boys I think you should have this one because it's 574 grams. This one's 548 grams. That's big. They're big. Yeah. But I'm going to test my ketones to see what they are like just before I eat because I am 28 hours fasted. So. Three point seven is quite high. Can we just take a moment to acknowledge the T-shirt? Now I bought this myself, and I bought it in a large, but it's extra, 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 extra large. Like it's huge. But anyway, carnivore queen. I was going to wear it to the gym, but now it's going to be pajamas because it's so um, big. So I'm going to use uh, my continuous glucose monitor on me. I'm going to just check what my glucose is. 88, which is really good. You can see that it's been really stable all day. Um, it had a little dip, but didn't feel it. But otherwise, it's been good all day. I have to go get a battery for the camera. I gotta have coffee with collagen. Are you just having a plain coffee? Yeah, with cream. With cream. It's so nice, I don't have to make my own coffee this morning. I'm going to take my electrolytes. Are you going to take electrolytes before you go? Yeah. 
And then my collagen. This one? <laughs> yeah. So a whole scoop of... No, oh, definitely not a whole scoop. As much? Teaspoon, yeah. Heaped teaspoon. Perfect. We just read on my Facebook group, somebody commented to say that her doctor had told her to try carnivore. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, that's my little surprise. I'm surprised too, because usually trying to get the doctor to... Um, recommend keto yeah. is like... If the doctor recommend ke recommends keto, it's like, yeah, you go doctor, but to recommend carnivore. Mm. Amazing. Uh, I wanted to film it. You had holes in your trousers. So, we are back in normal people footwear and not having our ankle supported. Look at the color of my face. <laughs> oh, it was a workout and a half. We are gonna go get something else to eat now because our friends are starving. They're just returning their rental gear and then we will be going for something to eat. More importantly, a lot of hydration. Everybody's interested. We're home finally from skiing. We went and um, bought some San Pellegrino in the supermarket before we came home, but we're finally home. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> um, so we had for today, as you saw, we had the steak haché or the, just a um, minced beef burger. I had my cheese. You had yours plain with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper and mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. I didn't record the mayonnaise though because that was after. I decided after. After, the, yeah. So let me turn around something. so you can so you can see. Um, then we that was at about eleven eleven thirty a.m. Yeah. We were fairly hungry at that point because we had we'd been driving for two for two hours because the traffic was crazy going to Leger this morning, which is where we were. Um, it's holiday time for a lot of people and there was a lot of people coming from the UK and the Netherlands and Belgium. There's quite yeah. a few Belgium car Belgian yeah. cars as well. So traffic was crazy. So we got there a little bit later than we normally do. So we started a little bit later. So by 11.30 we were really hungry. And then on the way back, we stopped in McDonald's and I got two triple cheeseburgers with cheese. And actually, can you, with my phone, I'm going to scan my blood glucose now because I want to show you what happened after I ate the two double cheeseburgers from McDonald's. Thank you very much, Mr. Assistant. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see what it is. So it's 85 right now and you can see that I had that um, McDonald's at about 3 p.m. Nothing happened. So the two peaks that you're seeing there are exercise 
the skiing basically um so mcdonald's also no effect on blood glucose and i just had two triple cheeseburgers with extra cheese so i know i said i've been off dairy but can you consider mcdonald's cheese real cheese probably not so i think cheese for me is going to be okay once in a while i can't have it every day i can't have it as the like the main basis of my food um so that's it for today i am going to have my collagen coffee i had one this morning as you saw i think i recorded it um but i'm gonna have another collagen coffee but this time i'm gonna have a decaf i'm not gonna use the machine i'm just gonna use the soluble one but this is a brand new pack oil cap of these oh. what are you gonna eat yeah. you're not really hungry right no not particularly maybe a bit of salami i don't know just some salami, salami some cheese, nuts nuts yes okay, okay thank you for holding that still for me and thank you for constantly interrupting these videos you're lucky you're cute Breakfast time to faux filet. I'm not going to eat both. I might eat both. We'll see. I'm going to cook both though because even if I don't eat one now, I'll eat it later. So that's it gonna end the vlog here i hope it was i hope it was helpful i know i had some complaints about the fact that i'm not doing any keto food anymore but that's because i am doing carnivore myself at the moment and as always i'm just sharing my experience um that doesn't mean to say i won't make keto videos in the future um for now i just want to kind of give you guys a really good foundation for what carnivore is like what's like to do it you want to say hello hmm to say hello um so that's it so if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up um and if you have any questions about keto about carnivore about anything i'm doing make sure you comment below and let me know um i do try and respond to as many as possible i do read them all um so if you have a question and you'd like me to make a video about it just comment below and let me know yeah yeah so it's sunday night and that's it we're done eating for the day um you saw we had a, a really nice cheeseburger it was actually quite thick it didn't look it but it was quite thick we didn't eat any of the vegetation just the cheese and the burger and, and that's it so um that's everything i've eaten everything i've drank every activity i've done over the last few days you've seen and uh, so if you like this kind of video make sure you give me a thumbs up um, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again next time.